Oh, we were right. Are we here? You're right. <laughs> What's your name? Jack. Where are you from? How old are you? How big's your dick? <laughs> what? Probably is bigger than mine, but I bet mine's better looking, right? This is the thing. Like, have you got? Because you've got big dick energy. That's what. Do you know what big dick energy is? Have we heard of big dick energy? Basically, it's when you look like you've got a big knob, even though you haven't. You just carry yourself off like you have. Mine's not big. <laughs> Mine's pretty though. It's handsome. It's like it's not big, but it's handsome. It's like Justin Timberlake. Um, I sent a dick pic once, and a girl messaged back going, "Why have you put a filter on it?" It was like, <laughs> "Haven't." <laughs> Still, has got blusher on and eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> do you know when you go to the toilet and that? Do you have a little look in your rhinos? Yeah, you do, don't you? Right, guys, give us a cheer if when you go for a little pissy piss piss. You have a little fucking, have a little look. Woo! Yeah, thank just <laughs> fucking st stitch yourself up there. You were like, yeah, my fella's with me. Oh no, it's just I. I do. I'm doing it, mate. I'm looking at your dick, right? If you're right, if if we're in a urinal and you're next to me, I'm having a look. I don't give a fuck, right? I'm, and I will stress, you urinal only. I'm not popping my head over or under cubicles. Looking at dicks, I'm not that dick hungry, but if there's one there, I'm having a little peek at it, mate. I'm not touching it or nothing, I just want to have a little look. Then you're like, why'd you look at dicks, Dan? I'll tell you why, right? When I was about 10, yeah, my mum left my dad, and she went and lived like in a house share with just all women, and I was dicking about in the fucking front room, and I found a magazine, and it's a porn magazine, yeah, and it was like, have you seen porn for women from the late 80s, early 90s? It's just a book of dicks, mate. <laughs> Like, do you know, there's no fucking, you think that like women are like, oh, dressing up and that, it's literally guys just fucking squeezing it. <laughs> like proper art, just like fucking have that. No, no imagination at all, just like the fucking, the last slide. It was just a, right, it was just a book of dicks, right? Just every page, pick a number between one and 32. Dick on it. <laughs> just a dick on every page, man. Fucking seven days of dick. If it was Craig David, there'd have been dick on Sunday. No chilling. No chilling, mate. Dick on Sunday. It was fucking... It's just a book of dicks. A dictionary, if you will. Just dick, 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 bare dick, right? And the reason I look at dicks is I saw page 12. Oh, my days. Page 12 was phenomenal, mate. It's the best one I've ever seen in my life. And that's why I look at dicks now. To see if I can ever see a better one than page 12. And I, I fucking haven't. I was 10 when I saw it. I'm 35, 25 years in a dick game. <laughs> Never seen a better one than page 12. It was fucking beautiful, mate. It was a big black dick, right? And at first, I didn't even know it was a big black dick. I honestly thought it was a man advertising bin bags. <laughs> like, that's what it was. Like, just, I thought he was just holding a fucking roll of bin bags. Like, check these bin bags out. And they were the, the fucking, they were the good bin bags as well. You know the ones from B&Q with the drawstring? <laughs> that you can put rubble in and garden waste. Not the little shitty ones of B&M that you can see through. You fucking put a yoghurt pot in and it slices it. Nah, mate. And that's why I'm be looking at the dicks, man. But, 25 years in, yeah? Bit jaded now. So I think I'll never see a better one. So I've started, like, switching it up. I still look, because you can't go cold turkey on shit like that. <laughs> but what I'm looking at now is how people hold them. Everyone be holding them different at the urinals, man. I don't want to go all cabbage cream egg on you, bro, but how do you hold yours? <laughs> yeah, two hands, uh, fucking... Two hands, yeah. <laughs> That's it. People do it different ways. Some mad ones as well, different techniques. I call them dickneeks, right? <laughs> I've got a little book, I write them down. I'm going to share a couple with you. My favourite, maybe two or three, right? The, the, I saw one, I call it uh, The Cool Kid Smoking at School. Because he was like, you know, the cool kid at school when he smoked behind the like bike sheds and that. He's like, that's how the guy was holding it, like. <laughs> Either that or he was putting like a dick shield up so I couldn't look. <laughs> but that's not going to fucking stop me. I'm a veteran. I'll just lean back and have a look in the hand dryer nozzle. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm doing, mate. Fucking boom, boom, reflecto dick. <laughs> I'm going to see it from a different angle, bruh. The other guy, I call it the bomb. Guy had it. I've never seen it. So it was like open palm, 
No fingers, no thumbs. Just lay in it. It's like... <laughs> dead careful like it was dynamite. Like, that's what it was like. Dead prom... You know when you fucking got a bomb in your car on Grand Theft Auto and you can only, like, bang it three times? So you're just dead careful with it. That's what he was like. He was just like... <laughs> so I call out the bomb. My favourite, though, um, sausage roll, right? <laughs> The guy had what we call in the dick industry is a very shy shaft, yeah? Very shy shaft. Didn't want anyone seeing the shaft, yeah? So he covered it with his hands, but he didn't have enough hands. So the pink bit popped out the end, like... <laughs> so we looked like a sausage roll, you know, a little bit... You know, a little pink bit that pops out the sausage roll? Mate, I was fucking gassed. I saw it, I was like, mate! Mate, that's amazing, what's your name? He was like, Philip, if he'd have said Greg, I'd have lost my shit, mate. <laughs> That'd have been it. <laughs> Fucking life made.